Hi church, I'm at Eric Armstrong's house making this recording. That's why you see the background might be a little different. We're in his garage and uh, he is actually behind the camera and he can say hi today. Hi guys. Yep, there he is. Today I wanted to talk to you about light. There's a little bit of a light under the camera to kind of shine in my face. And I have some different lights in front of me. I'm talking about the light that you see with your eyes like using a flashlight or turning on a light switch at your house, or maybe even when you walk out of your house during the day and the sun is shining. There's a story in the Bible about lamps. Not the lamp that you have maybe in your house where you turn on with electricity, but a lamp that uses oil. In this story, there are some people that are waiting for people to come from far away for a party and it gets really late. They're supposed to hold the lights to, to kind of show everyone where the house is and to let them see and to kind of make it really festive like Christmas lights. And they have to wait for a really long time. And it, they have to wait for so long that they get sleepy and they fall asleep. What's the longest you've ever had to wait for something? Is there something you're waiting for right now? You waiting for Christmas to come? Or a birthday? Well, in this story, they fall asleep and it just, it takes so long, they're waiting. And pretty soon someone says, they're coming. And they said, oh, oh my goodness, we have to get our lamps ready. And so they, they, uh, they either the lamps were going maybe just a little bit. And so they have to make the wick longer like this really long match, they have to go boop, make the wick really long so that the flame is nice and bright and they can see. But some of them brought extra oil. So the oil burns, it goes up the wick, and that's where the fire is. And so they have, they add some oil and they're getting ready for a nice bright light and others don't have enough oil. And they say, well, our lights are going out. How are we going to greet them? And the people that have oil say, I'm sorry, there won't be enough. You have to get your own. So they run to the store to get some oil, but when they're gone, the party starts and the people come and the people that have the lights raise their lights and they help lead them into the house for the party. And when the other people come back, they miss it. They miss the party that's happening. It's kind of a sad story. It's not my favorite story in the Bible. But I wanted to talk about that light and lamps and oil. I have a couple different lights in front of me, if you will. Well, there are some lights uh, up above me, uh, some light bulbs, but I also have this lamp. This doesn't really look like a lamp. It kind of looks like a can. But what happens if I pull up on it? Wow, that's really bright, isn't it? Doesn't it look bright in your camp in the video? Really, really bright. And this would be good for camping or maybe for hunting, right? If you're looking for something in the back of the truck, you can find it. And it shuts off very easily. Now, do you think this would be very bright if there are no batteries in it? I don't think so either. It runs on batteries. I have another kind of light. And uh, this light is lit with matches. And I please don't use matches without your parents there. But this is a baptism candle. It's my son Carl's baptism candle. Look at that. Now this might not be a very bright flame. You can see the smoke going up. I can. But um, if we turned all the lights off in this garage and just had this candle, we could still see in a very dark place, this would give you some light to see with, where there's lots of shadow you could see. I'm gonna blow this out so I can put it down. But I have a homemade lamp with me. Does this look like a lamp to you? There's no light bulb and there's no string cord to pull. There's no shade over the top, but this is a lamp. This is a jar, maybe you can see it. This is a jar that uh, you might have some jelly in or, or peaches. And uh, in this jar is a wire that's holding up a wick. It kind of looks like a, a rope. If you can see that. 
And so it's a string that pokes out the top and in, in it is some olive oil. Should we put a little bit of olive oil in our lamp? That's probably what they used in Jesus' day. And they lit it with old butter. You use what you have. So they put some oil in the lamp and then the wick is nice and long for a bright light. Should we try to light this lamp? Should we? Let's use that big long match that we had just a minute ago. Oops. I don't have this box unwrapped all the way yet. Let's try that, shall we? Oh, it's a big flame, isn't it? Do you think it will work? Now, why is this burning? See, if I took this wick out all by itself and tried to light it, it wouldn't light very well. But this wick is like a straw. Down here is the oil, and the wick sucks the oil up, and when the fire burns, it draws even more oil up. See how big and bright that flame is? I bet if we had a few of these, we could put it on this table and turn the lights off, and we could still see the read. Well, in that story, it doesn't seem very fair, does it? I'm going to move this wick a little bit. In that story, it doesn't seem very fair that some people wouldn't share their oil. If someone's waiting and you have something that can help them, you hope that you would give it to them. But I think Jesus tells this story in the Bible to help us remember God has given us this oil called Jesus and faith, right? God has given us this oil, all the oil we'll ever need. And when God talks about light, it's also talking about you. In fact, way before this story in Matthew, Jesus says, you are light. You're like a light for the world. You're like a light on the hill. You're listening to me and I love you, and you're sharing that love, and you're my people, and I give you all this oil, my love, and my grace. So you're like lights. So even if you're waiting for a long time, and get tired, and forget, and fall asleep, or don't remember, I remember who you are. I remember you. Here is my oil. I need you to be a light in the world, to light up places where shadows are, where people are hungry, where people are sad, where people are having a hard time because maybe other people don't want to share with them. I need you to be light. You already are because of me, says Jesus. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for the oil called your love. For everything that you give us in Jesus, help us to be light so that others may see Jesus. Amen. Bye, church.